Ciao a me va and today we are going to make a special cookie from Italy and the name of this cookie is very very interesting because the name is Brutti ma buoni which means in Italian ugly but good it's a flourless cookie so also people who have problem with the gluten can easily make this cookie because they are very simple and also they can eat because as I said before it's completely without any kind of flour. To make our brutti ma buoni what we need a very simple ingredient because we need just two egg whites then we need some sugar and here I have uh, some uh, hazelnut that before I break <laughs> like that uh, in my food processor but if you can find hazelnut or you prefer almonds or uh, pistachio feel free to change your nuts with whatever you think you like more for this recipe I'm, I'm using uh, this wonderful uh, mixer but uh, you don't really need this because if you hand, have a hand mixer you can easily use that one. First step is to separate our egg yolks from the egg whites. We are going to beat our eggs until they start to form up a little bit. When uh, your egg white uh, start uh, to be like that, you can add your sugar a small amount of the time and keep beating them. How do you know if your egg whites are uh, ready? <laughs> This is something dangerous because if they are not ready we are going to make a disaster here so finger crossed Okay our egg whites are ready Next step is to add our nuts in our uh, meringue We are adding the nuts a small amount of the time you gently fold the, the nuts in your meringue but uh, guys uh, don't worry because uh, anyway your meringue will be it will be no foamy as it was uh, before because we are adding our nuts These cookies, these uh, Brutti ma Buoni, where are uh, they from? It seems that they were born in uh, Turin, in uh, Piedmont, but then uh, they spread uh, also in the center of Italy. So let's say that they are in between uh, north and center of Italy. Now that our uh, dough, cookie dough, is ready, we need to transfer it uh, from here to a small pot like that because we need to cook it for about 10 minutes I know that also this can seem strange but guys biscotti in Italian means cooked twice so it's not so strange we start to cook our dough at very low temperature and we will cook it until we can easily collect the dough in one bowl and it's not attached anymore to the pot and it's a little bit brown and you need to stir always otherwise we will destroy our brutti ma buoni and they will be just brutti but not buoni <laughs> As you can see, it changed a little bit color. It's sticky and we can easily form a sort of ball. It's not attached to our pot. And this is the moment in which our dough is ready. So we take some cookie dough and we put here on our baking sheet. Make sure to put some parchment paper on your baking sheet, otherwise uh, the cookie will stick. 
Now our cookies are ready to go in the oven. I preheat my oven at uh, 300 uh, degrees uh, and they will bake for about uh, 20 minutes. Our brutima buoni are ready to be eaten. Uh, so, guys, buon appetito! Harper, do you want to try one? Buon appetito! Buon appetito! I don't even think they're that ugly, but they're definitely buoni. Buonissimi. Imagine if, like, a Ferrero Rocher was a cookie. That's kind of what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, right, Harper. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you try this recipe, tag us on Instagram or Facebook at Pasta Grammar, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.